He did time, now he's dropping rhymes. Hi, I'm Debbie. From selling crack cocaine on the streets of New York City, Jackal on the prowl in Kingston Recording Studios. A deportee using rap to beat the odds. Getting recorded is not the end of the road. Jamaica made me 80s, baby. Hubert Johnson, no jackal. The 30-something rapper deported from the U.S. in 2012 after serving several prison sentences on multiple convictions, including shooting. Johnson and his mother fleeing Jamaica when he was just six. This is young jackal. This is not even jackal. This is Jay. Next thing, I'm on a plane, but permanently. For all intents and purposes, Johnson becoming a New Yorker and learning quickly. Like if you could make it in New York, you can make it anywhere across the world. You have to be streetwise and you gotta be fast because it don't stop 24 hours a day. And if you're not important or if you don't make yourself important, people just pass you right by. We don't manufacture, but we got them streetwise, but also an illegal. The lack of a social security number, the reason he gives for resorting to pushing drugs despite getting as far as high school. Once I found out the magnitude of a social security, I began hiding, to be honest. I began hiding from anything that could reveal that because I was told, yo, once they hold you, they shipping you out. Not an option for a teenager for whom Jamaica was only a distant memory but life as a drug peddler plagued by risk. Well, I'm in the streets, I'm selling drugs, I'm affiliated with all kinds of people. Stuff comes with that. What drugs did you sell? Cocaine, crap. The problem is not getting caught in the process and jack boys, robbers, because you know, it's a lot of different elements of the streets. Like you have a person who wake up to go hustle like me. I wake up to go hustle find customers, move product, whatever it may be. You have some people who their hustle is, they wake up and watch people who hustle. Oh, he's doing good. We gonna rob him tonight, tie him up or tie his kid up or, you know, and then you have other people who use you as an excuse. All right, he's doing good. They may have got caught up. So they tell on you and use you as a get out of jail free card. It's, it's, so your life is a high wire life. It's, it's like, you know, it's it, definitely you could fall off at any point. Any point, it could go all the way wrong at any point. Even if I walked outside and didn't have no drugs, didn't have a gun on me, wasn't doing anything quote unquote illegal, if I got caught and they ran my prints, I'm still in the same predicament. But he was caught many times, except that the last time he was nabbed outside of New York, a stroke of bad luck. In the system in New York, I'm just a New York citizen, resident or whatever, but I got jammed up in Massachusetts the last time. That's a commonwealth and they run every check. They don't leave nothing up for a question. The three major convictions, a cutting, stabbing incident, I did a year for, a shooting incident, I did three years for, and a drug incident. I did six and a half, seven years for, and then got deported. What's the worst thing that happened in prison? All right, in a, if we're in a gangster environment, I'll never have a problem with the gangsters because we're going to identify with each other. That's just it. It's always the, the nerds and the wannabes. I get into problems with gangsters by way of one of their friends who's not as gangster or not even about that, but their friend is gonna defend it. Because I have friends like that that I'm gonna defend regardless if they're wrong or right. That's just with the loyalty that we, you know, we, we subscribe to. But um, the worst thing that happened to me is, is police beating me up. They feel like they don't want you to have no pride. They don't want you to have any self-worth, you know? So to be walking around in the jail with jewelry on, with street clothes on, you're getting a visit every week from a beautiful female. You know, they don't like that. Jackal deported on July 26, 2012. Lots of family here, but he didn't really know anyone. So pretty much at sea, but also quick on his feet, adaptable. 
the fast-talking denizen of the Bronx, suddenly stigmatized by how he sounded. Meet me, 10 words into it, the conversation, you're gonna know that I'm a deportee. I'm more confident in me landing and figuring it out than me landing and somebody picking me up and they're telling me and helping me figure it out. The first thing I did to make money when I got to Jamaica was sell women's shoes and Brazilian Remy. You must have made a pile of money. I made some money, I bought a Benz out of that. That's how I bought my first car. I'm a salesman, I like selling things. At one point I was selling drugs, you know what I mean? But that's just a product. I feel I could sell any product. Except his music. Dress code killer, so they calling me a Door slammed in your face. Yeah, yeah, rap in Jamaica? Nah, go back over there, man. You know what I mean? Sneak over there even if you have to, because you're, you're good, you're nice, but it's not gonna work here. Whilst serving time, he'd picked up a taste for rapping. And people in prison are telling me, yo, you nice. You got Who were you listening to at the time? B-Block, M.O.P., rough all gangster stuff. A bunch of stuff written behind bars, but in his first years back in Jamaica, his lyrical output not of much use as tools of survival. I've been homeless here, bro, sleeping in my bends in Lasouche parking lot. You know what I mean? I've been going to girls' house to shower and use the bathroom, man. You know, I've, I've been calling friends like, yo, I need some gas money, like no credit on the phone, please call me. I've been through all that. You know, and that's why the streets rock with me like that because they know me, they see me, whether it was good or not good. It's just starting to get good. I was thinking about being a dancehall producer, producing typical dancehall rhythms. I was not intending, I wasn't even thinking towards hip hop. A good break for Jackal was meeting Code Red selector radio disc jock and fellow ex New Yorker, Rush. Yeah, it's a gangster place still. And it have, a, it have a code, it have a different vibe for everywhere else I've been. So maybe that's part of the reason why me and Jackal they get along is because um, I was accustomed to that type of person there. And you know, that, uh, that was the environment I was in in Mount Vernon and the Bronx. I feel like cartel, that is cool. A Jamaica will represent trade, you understand? So when people listen to Jackal, I want them to say, I know just rap. I want, I want somebody randomly in like Shanghai to pick up a CD and say, yo, who this? And as them put it in, them know this is the Jamaican rapper, not just a rapper. Jackal sitting in as a cartel lookalike on a video shoot, his introduction to Rush, who agreed to mix a couple of his tracks, both working together since 2017. Jamaica loves rap. If six cars pass you on the road, four of them are playing rap music. That's just facts. So I'm not introducing anything it's already here you know what i mean i'm just here on the island doing it from here the people love it i believe we've always wanted a rapper to call our home because a jamaican started rap cool herc is jamaican you know what i mean he went to the bronx and created something that's worldwide right now you know and i feel like all right I went over there, went to school, soaked it up. They sent me home and I brought our craft back home with me. Jackal's still a New Yorker at heart, but he says unburdened by the baggage of regret. His crimes and misdemeanors, now the stuff of his music. What comes to mind when you think about that stuff and the people who were hurt and maybe even some of the people you sold drugs to? I think about that stuff now and Honestly, I, I won't say I, I regret it and you know what I mean? I think about that stuff now and say that was a part of my journey. You know, I learned a lot from it and that made me who I am today. Without any of that, I wouldn't be this person in front of you right now. I wouldn't be able to document my life musically the way that I can because all of those experiences culminated to Jackal right now. And you did your time. And I did my time. You know what I mean? I did my time. We ain't tell on nobody, we paid our debt to society, and now we progressing with our life. Jackal's album called What Else? Deportee. I feel like cartel, that is coke. Shamilla, I get it by the boat.